Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nathaniel W. James. I'm a keyboardist, producer, composer, just an all-around musician, loving to share my uh, gift with the world. And today, we're actually just going to go through a new song that's been trending all over the place, uh, a song that I actually love myself. It's a good song, Hours and Hours by Money Long. And uh, I'm going to just play it down, you know, just the basic chords. For you guys so that you guys could learn the song if you're looking to learn how to play the song and i'm also going to play it kind of stretched out how i posted it on uh, tiktok and instagram which is a little bit more difficult than the basic playing and uh yeah if it's an arrangement that you guys like if you guys like the chords then you guys can use them you know feel free but let's get straight into it i know that you guys don't like videos that are five minutes or longer so let's get straight into the song boom let me switch up my view real quick all right so the song is in b um b major it actually starts on the two which is c sharp minor uh nine sorry um there's really only three chords to the song to be honest um i'm gonna go to e flat seven sharp nine sharp five and then we're going to a flat minor nine so that's two if you want so that's basically the three chords of the song i'm just gonna play it down real quick So that is literally the entire song. Just ramps that over and over again. Not going to beat a dead horse. Let's keep it pushing. When I posted this song, um, I actually did, you know, I just played it the way that I would normally play it, you know, just to make it a little more interesting. And I got a couple comments saying that it was a little more, a little too difficult to, um, to sing to. And I actually called one of my, my vocal friends and I messaged him, actually. I just, you know, voice messaged him. But I messaged him and I asked him, I was like, hey, yo, is this, like, difficult to sing to as a singer? And he told me, yes, it is a little bit difficult to sing to because of the voice that I was using, which is fine, you know. Um, Yeah. As a keyboardist, as an accompanist, it's fine. You have to, you have to accompany your singers. You know what I mean? Um, and sometimes that means doing less. So um, I'm just going to repost the video so that because I really only made the video so that singers can sing along to it. I saw a lot of people doing the challenge. I thought to myself, maybe they would want to do um, a piano version, kind of stripped down without the beat and everything. So I posted that. But, you know, whatever is too. It was too much. I was doing too much. I was playing too many notes. But. I thought to myself, I right, well, I'm still going to show the people which notes I was playing in case, you know, they liked it. You know, maybe there's some people out there that like a lot of notes. I like a lot of notes. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what I played. All right. So getting into um, his and hers or sorry, getting into hours and hours. Um, I don't know the, the text of that song always makes me feel like it says his and hers, but it's hours and hours. This is how I played it.
I mean, it was more or less something along those lines. I made a couple mistakes, but I'm not going to play it over again. Um, so, yeah, I got a couple of comments saying that it was too complicated. And I was thinking to myself, it probably is kind of weird to sing over that for people who, that, who know the melody and are singing the melody. But I figured to myself I should probably post it just in case y'all like it. So, yeah, that was more or less how I played it. Um, a lot of mistakes there, but I'm not going to keep playing it. I'm not going to play it over again. Um, you get the gist. So, essentially, what I'm playing is uh, the C sharp minor 9, same thing. And I go to the E flat um, 7, sharp 9, sharp 5. And then I go over to the, you know, basic A flat minor 9. Um, after that, I go down to the same chord in the beginning. Oh, sorry. I actually do a quick little move. Um, I follow the melody. Um, -da -ba -da -ba. Right? She does that, that line. -da 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 -ba -ba. So I accompany that melody line with a couple passing chords, uh, tritones. And it sounds like this. Ooh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Right? Yes. Now you guys can see I have displayed the chords um, down below so you guys can see them. Um, I don't really need to talk about them. You guys can see the chords. Just think of it as a E flat major um, dominant seven, right? And then I go into a diminished chord. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, it's saying that it's a C diminished seven, right? C diminished seven, and then I kind of just pass on the uh, A flat with the same chord, but I keep the melody, which is on the E at that time, and then resolve down to the C sharp minor nine. Um, so that's that line. And then the second line that's kind of different is on the second pass, I go to the uh, E flat seven and I actually do that move. Um, to be completely honest, it just sounds good to me. I don't know if it's theoretically correct, but um, it's off the E flat. This is technically still on the E flat, um, but I kind of let go of the E flat because that sounds like there's a lot of tension between the E and the E flat. Um, so I just kind of let it go and let the, the move be what it is. So if I were to break it down into chords and remove the passing notes, it's just right. Boom, boom, boom. And you see the notes that I'm playing on the screen. And you see the chords. I wish I could be more theoretically sound for you guys, but I'm just not that theoretically. Um, yeah, I wish I could tell you guys exactly which chords go where and voice lead and whatnot, but I just played it because it sounds good. If you guys think that it sounds good too, then you guys can play it. Enjoy it. Right, and then I go to the um, A flat 13 sus, and then I resolve it down to the, what are you calling that, E major 9 flat 5, I'm mean sharp 5, how in the world, oh it's because, of, I think that's because I played that, so I go to the A flat 13 sus, resolve down to the A flat, seven sharp five and i go down to back down to the original c sharp nine um the only other thing that i do that's different from the record is on that section where she goes really low with the melody and she goes down to uh i believe that note over the um no sorry she goes down to the e flat over the uh a flat minor um i just figured i would give her that diminished um uh, G diminished instead of the actual root 
just to add, you know, a little flavor. Um, it would technically be like that, and she would be like, mm. so it'd be kind of like a, a E flat dominant, but like obviously diminished. A little tension there, right? And then it resolves. So it it was a, it's that section. Ah oh, man, I really don't know the lyrics, but she says whatever, blah blah blah. I did that, and then. And I just followed the melody. I just followed the melody on that, on that one. And I played the uh, F sharp, dominant seven, flat five. Um, just for the uh, to complement the uh, the melody. Kind of jazzy interpretation of it to play off the. Uh, um, the A flat, kind of like a setup Ooh, oh, to go back to the E flat. I mean the C sharp minor nine, and that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, I'll just kind of pound it out. Same chords, and that's how I played hours and hours by Money Long. Hope you enjoyed it. Um. Come back for more piano chords and melodies and passing notes and whatnot. If you are a pianist that likes to play a lot of notes unnecessarily, then you probably will like a lot of my playing and my videos because I like to play a lot of notes that are very, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, congested. I like a lot of notes. So... Hope you enjoyed the video. Come back soon. Uh, smash the like button. Follow me if you like this type of content. I'm going to keep posting, obviously. And uh, check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of dope artists that I showcase uh, via my living room sessions and my event called City Underground. And I do a couple covers and whatnot, but this page is all about music. So you're going to find various types of music and various styles of music and interpretation. So... I hope you have a great day. Leave comments underneath if you want to see another video or another song broken down in this manner or stretched out in this manner. Let me know in the comments what song you want to hear next. Have a good day. Be the sound you want to hear and the person you want to see. Cheers. Oh no, the video stopped. What? Oh. What? Bye.